What's up, everybody? Uh, you're looking at a beta version of Racetab 4.0 that's coming out in August of 2015. Uh, I want to introduce you to one of the new features here. Uh, we've moved a lot of things to be consolidated under the new Sources menu. So when you pull down on the Racetab logo here, click on that to expand it, and you'll see some of the kind of uh, high-level options. One of those is Sources. So if you drill into Sources now, um, on the right-hand side, you'll see a way to add new sources. Um, so we have FAT camera, Ipica, Reader, Chrono Track, and MyLapse currently. Um, when we ship this, the first version will not have Chrono Track and MyLapse, but that is in the plans to add, um, and uh, in addition to other sources that we plan to add. So before we had like a uh, uh, links or FAT camera button elsewhere in the application, I think under the events tab, and likewise we had an Ipico button there under the events tab. But we've consolidated everything under one spot. So if you want to add an IPCO reader, just click on Add a Source, IPCO Reader. You can give it a name. So you could say Matt1 if you have multiple mats. Um, you would type in the IP address uh, that your reader is on. And, um, and we're going to leave this on manual here. Basically, automatic will automatically try to connect, or manual only connects if you tell it to connect. Um, so that's what we're going to leave it as for now. And you'll notice also the Trident option um, because we, it, it will be supported by the Trident system as well. Um, when we save this, um, we have this new source here, and if we go back to our main screen, we notice at the top we have this IPCO icon at the top. And if you hover over it, it tells you the name of it as well. Um, we can right click on it, and you'll see we have open connection, watch data, um, and, uh, and watch data is the, to preview some of the, the data that's coming in across the map in real time just so you can see that it's working. Um, and we'll get to current point in a second, but I'm going to go up to edit source just so we can go back into that and edit it some more. Um, so again, you have all the stuff. We didn't quite fill out everything, but one of the key things with putting in uh, a, a mat as a split source is you need split points. And basically the breakdown is the split source is the data collector, the thing that Racetab is listening to. And the split point is where that data is going. So at various times during the race, the same split source IPCO map may be the mile mark and the two mile mark, for example. So if that was going to be the case, um, we could put in this, um, you know, boys one mile. We name the split. Um, and uh, so there's a short name and a long name. So we might want to just call this one mile and then the longer name boys one mile. Um, we put this into a certain event and this is a track meet, not a cross country meet, but um, you know, just use your imagination a little bit. And we would say this is a split versus a finish or a start. And then we do the two mile, same thing. So 32, 16. And the distance by the way, is just really kind of for sort order. Um, it, it's not crucial that you have the exact distance really. All right, and we're going to do the same thing there and add a split. Oops, select the boys, 3,200. Well, it doesn't matter for these purposes, but you would select the same event and select split. And then we're going to go to save and done. And you'll see now if I click on this, then we have current points and we can choose the point. And this allows us to choose what point that split source is going to be reading the data into at that time. So you see how that works. So that's how you set it up. Uh, we'll have some future tutorials kind of digging more into it, but that's the basis. Thank you.